We turn now to Bruceville Eddy, where questions have been raised by a number of residents about the construction of a solar farm in the area. They're wondering about the farm's future. Since recent announcement, announcements suggested solar companies may be shutting down due to tariff disputes with Canada. Chris Rogers has been looking into this and is here to separate fact from fiction. Chris. Hey guys, yeah, this is a story I've been following for a little over a year now. Back in June of last year, you might remember, you might remember we found out about a $13 million solar farm being planned in an area just outside of Bruce Filetti. Fast forward to today, and there are reports circulating that the project had to be shut down after the president recently imposed a tariff on imported solar panels. We wanted to know if that was true. So here's the breakdown. On this side are things we know to be true. Right here in the middle are things that we haven't been able to confirm yet. And over here, things that we know to be false. First up, a recent 30% tariff has forced solar companies to halt or cancel billions of dollars in sol solar projects. Now that's true. In fact, Cypress Creek Renewables, the company heading up the McLennan County project, announced they would have to freeze $1.5 billion in projects across the country. We know some of those are in the Carolinas, some of those in Colorado, and some right here in Texas. But so far, we don't know which projects specifically will be affected here in the Lone Star State, so that'll stay here for right now. We can confirm the Bruceville Eddy project is in fact not one of them, and that's coming right from the company itself. Here's spokesman Jeff McKay. And that, you know, the particular Bruceville Eddy project, you know, had been in the works for quite some time before the tariff was ever imposed. That really had, has nothing to do or have no impact on that particular project. So is the solar farm being shelved or canceled altogether? Well, we can verify that's false. The project is still expected to be complete by the end of the year. Now, if you have something you'd like me to verify, go ahead and reach out to me on Facebook or just send me an email, guys. All right, thanks, Chris.